dictionary, the word waffle means to be indecisive, not able to make up your mind. But when it comes to the food called waffle, eating one is an easy decision to make. They're one of our favorite breakfast foods. Walk down just about any street in Belgium and you'll probably come across a shop or food truck selling these rectangular treasures. Although called Belgium waffles, they weren't invented here. Flat pancake-like waffles were cooked in ancient Greece. The batter was pressed between two hot iron plates. In the 15th century, the Dutch added the iconic indents. But it's the Belgians who were credited with making waffles into the fave food it is today. One of the earliest pictures of a waffle was in this 1559 painting by Peter Bruegel the Elder. The painting itself is sort of a comical hodgepodge poking fun at rural life. In the lower left corner, you can see a man with waffles on his hat and a waffle on the table with some dice. Seems like they're more interested in playing with their food than eating it. Waffles are easy to make. Whip up some batter, pour it on the griddle, close the plates, and let it cook. For most of us, the magic comes with the toppings, and there's an almost endless array. Fruit, chocolate, powdered sugar, peanut butter, jam, whipped cream, ice cream, Speaking of ice cream, there's a great story about the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. When a vendor selling ice cream ran out of paper cups, the vendor selling waffles took one of the flat squares and folded it into a funnel shape. Add a scoop to the large opening, and the ice cream cone was born. Of course, waffles usually have a lot of sugar, butter, and white flour. So while it's a tasty treat, it should probably be an occasional treat. With a bit of Belgium, I'm Emily for Teen Kids News.